What's going on, Combat Sports Nation? This is Sean here. Uh, we appreciate you press and play on our exclusive post-event, post-fight interview at CES uh, 54 with Tony Gravely, the victorious and now defending bantamweight champion on CES's inaugural event on Fight Pass. It was extremely impressive. Tony put away Chris Mutino in the fourth round by TKO, KO, uh, however you see it, it was devastating. Uh, Tony now improves to 17 and five. In 2018, he started the year with a loss, ended up riddling off four victories, five in a row now. He uh, captured three titles in 2018, of course, defended one of them, the CES title, um, uh, this past Saturday. He's just impressive. I mean, without a doubt, I believe he should be the next bantamweight um, to be signed in the UFC. He breaks down um, how he felt about the first and second round leading into the third and then of course the finish. The guy has a champion mindset, a championship mindset that uh, is not only going to make him or get him to the UFC but successful within the UFC ranks. So uh, give a listen uh, to Tony Gravely, the now defending bantamweight CES champion. I think uh, the first and second round had a lot to do with the way the canvas was, a little slick. Um, also, I know that he, he's got a good he's got a good gas tank, and I know that. But I know that I'm able to with my wrestling. I, I feel like I can I can um, level out anybody's cardio with our wrestling. I, I, I train with wrestlers all the time, high level wrestlers um, at Virginia Tech, and um, you know we 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 wrestle for like 30 minutes straight sometimes. And and I know that I can I can wear somebody out like that. So. Um, you know, on top of getting into you know, the canvas being slick, took him down. And I was really patient with um, with how I approached the first couple of rounds. I knew it would wear him out, and um, I just kept tapping away like a hammer, just kept tapping, tapping, tapping. And then um, in the third round, I think it was third or fourth, I'm not sure, came out. And uh, <laughs> at that point, you know, people get really eager to swing, mm -hmm. and then then that's when you just hit them with, you know. I, I, I know my stand-up, I'm confident in my stand-up, and I know that if we would, if we stood and we traded, I would win, and I, and I knew that, but you can't go out there thinking, you can't go out there looking for a slugfest all the mm -hmm. time, you gotta be smart about it, and I think um, just the level of maturity as a fighter, the mo more fights I have, the more mature I am about how to approach things. It's not like, um, you know, you can't let somebody get in your head and talking about, oh, you don't wanna stand with me, you just gotta do what, what you gotta do, mm -hmm. and, uh, until everything works your way, so um, luckily everything worked out. Um, I think it was the fourth round, he went for a, a heel hook, and I hit him, and I hit him, and he slowly just kind of started laying back, and that last hit, I, I felt the, like I could just see the life go out of him. He was like, like he kind of exhaled and went down, and I just kept hitting him until they stopped it. So, um, you know, I'm not necessarily happy with the first couple rounds, but I feel like that's what I had to do. Um, but the main thing is I got the job done. Once again, a champion through and through. Incredible guy. Tony has a huge future in front of him. A huge 2019 in front of him. And I asked him about that. Where does he feel he is on the radar of the UFC? Uh, he had a great answer. He said he can't make himself be in the UFC. He can only continue to put in the work until he... Uh, they want him as bad as he wants to be there. I'm sure by the end of the year, he will be in the big show making a splash. Tony breaks that down as well as gets a little emotional when uh, discussing uh, the people who have supported him and, and uh, followed him on this journey. Hopefully by the, by the end of this year, I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping that, you know, I've already done what it, what it had take, has taken to get to the UFC. You know, I feel like right now I'm, you know, I, I can sit here and say all day that, you know, I'm ready, but if they don't come, and you know, I, I can't make myself be in the UFC. All I can do is keep finishing fights and uh, just keep doing the best I can do, be the smartest fighter I can be. Um, you know, keep keep looking to finish people, and hopefully, you know, they think it's exciting, and um, they'll they'll want me as bad as I want them. So that's the goal. I like to thank my wife, uh, my parents. You know, my wife, she you know, she's she's the biggest supporter. She's uh, she corners me, or corners me. She just it's there more for her, <laughs> but for me too. I, I like having her corner. It's it's a comfort feeling. She's there all the time. So you know, have her corner my fights is great too. Uh, my parents. Now that my sister, they come to every fight. You know, we they travel from Virginia this time. Last time they drove, this time they flew. Um, my family, my friends, everybody from back home, um, Martinsville, Virginia, anywhere Virginia. Um, got a lot, of, got a lot of people 
that that um, have been following me and that believe in me. So um, it's it's cool to get it done for those guys and uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> trying to tear up. <laughs> but uh, I think like I think my sponsors, um, SAS Builders, Crockett Home Improvement, Sign Associates, uh, Wrecker Tactical Concepts, um, my, boy, uh, my buddies Valley Boys. And uh, Virginia Tech Wrestling for uh, you know keep me tough and and able to to implement my wrestling anytime I want to and, and however long it takes. So I really appreciate it. So as you see, the champ started to get a little choked up, a little emotional. I'll tell you a little behind the scenes about that. Is behind me to my right was off camera was Tony's wife, and at a certain point, she was giving him a look. Now. Us husbands would know what this look is. Uh, as our wives, I'm sure many of us has gotten that look of the seriousness of the situation. You don't, nothing needs to be said, no words, but it's just a look that was exchanged. And that look from his wife to him was, Tony, keep it together. Keep it together. You're on camera. Keep it together. And uh, sure enough, the champ did. It was a great exchange. We greatly appreciate his time. We look forward to his journey and him continuing his rise and once again making an impact in the UFC. Uh, Combat Sports Nation, as always, we appreciate you following along. Continue to look out for our CES post-event, CES 54 post-event coverage. As always, follow us on social, social media. Thank you so much. Follow us on Instagram. Watch us on YouTube. Check us out on Facebook. Visit us on Twitter. And stay tuned.